Hey everybody, how's it going? So with the craze going on with armors, reforger updates and things like that, it's about time that I did a video on how to set it up. Now, we've been partnered with gPortal and can give you 10% off your server, so hit the link in the description, head over to their website and get your own server. Right, so let's get into it, okay? You need your own server, so let's jump over to the GPOT website and I'll show you how to set one up. So once you're over there and um, the first thing you want to do is click on rent a server. This will take you to this page here. Scroll down and you'll just see Armour Reforger there. Now it starts off at a fiver for three days, but it's up to you whatever you want. So I'm just going to go with this one for now, just to show you how to do it. Once that's done, just click order and it will set up your server. Okay, so once you see this GPU, uh, CPU load here, you're going to turn your server back off. Done. Go to basic settings. Here, we're going to basically go through the simple settings and set up your server. So Armour Reforged Server by GPO. Let's change that to Dares Server. Like so. Max amount of players. That's up to you. Whatever you want. Um, change your admin password to whatever you want. And then you can, if you need, um, if you need a server password, right? I like that, please do not use only numbers. So like, for example, if you need a server password and you wanna keep your server private, make sure you don't go one, two, three, four, but use something like uh, banana, that's not even how you spell banana, but whatever, rum, one, two, three. For example, like that, right? And then do you want crossplay on? This is between PC and Xbox. Um, yes, no, that's up to you. And if you want to rent for console, Exact same thing here. All you gotta do is enable this box. For auto joinable, yes. Scenario. Now this one here, um, right now, just leave as is. Uh, we'll go over how to change that in another video. Right, visibility in the server browser. Uh, yes, region. Put it to your region. Um, if you're in like America, you know, Russia, whatever. Then the server max view, the server min grass distance, the network view distance, leave as is, unless you know what you're messing about with. Disable first person, I would say yes. But if you don't want to, you know, um, like turn that off and then that pe means people can have it on or off, whatever. Mix, mix about with it. Sometimes it might not save. Um, I found it pinned the butt. Uh, fast validation, this should always be true unless you know what it does. I don't know what it does. So leave it on, leave battle eye on, obviously. Staggering budget, depends how many stationary spatial map cells are allowed to be processed at one. Uh, on one tick, between one and 10,201 range. No idea what I'm doing with that one. Going to leave that as is. Same for the streaming budget and stream for the data. That's it. Wow, that was an easy one. Click save. Once that's saved, do not click start your server yet. We're going to come jump over to config files. This usually here takes a minute or two to load up. Now, what this area does is allows us to have a look at the JSON files and things like that. And it's basically what we just changed up here. But mods and so on and so forth could be there. Okay. Um, We'll get into mods in another video. Next thing is logs. If you ever have issues with the server and you need the server logs, you can get it here uh, and you can see the error scripting in console. For auto updates, I highly recommend that this is left on. For restarts, always, as always, choose a good time for your community. Usually mine's nine in the morning. No one's ever up at that time and just hit a daily restart and click save. That's when the server restart. For backups, always create a backup for when you start your server and try do one every 30 days if it's a server that requires being backed up. If it doesn't, just have the basic backup. 
for permissions. Um, this one here is, let's say, for example, you're a community leader and you have officers or community managers in your community. Well, get them to make a G Portal account. They don't need to buy anything. All they need is their username and you would just put their username there and then click add user and it would appear at the bottom. If you need support for your server, click on the support one and then just click right ticket and put in the category of Armour Reforger, the server, which would be that one, and then the title, which you're having your issue with, and then describe your problem below and hit create ticket. If you need any other assistance, guys, leave your, uh, the comment below and we'll go from there. Um, I hope that helps you out. Uh, don't forget, there's 10% off in the server description. We'll be covering map changing scenarios, how to change and upload missions, how to add mods soon. All you got to do is hit that like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.